About a month ago, I hosted a keyboard giveaway, and I finally picked my winners. I can't tell you how difficult it was, as some of you guys are really funny. See, I picked my winners based off a few traits. Did they put in effort? Did they have a good personality? And did they have fun while making the video? I was also looking for humor and wit, but most importantly, the people, of course, needed to be able to use a new keyboard. Before we get into the winners, though, let's take a look at some of the videos you guys sent in. Hello, Barry. I make this video today as a plea, an appeal, an entreaty, a supplication, a petition, and a prayer. I make this video today as I currently don't own a keyboard worthy of the Master Race. All of my life, since the womb, all of my possessions have been worthy. From the satin red blue Yeti microphone that sits on my desk, to the Tesco's own brand Bitter Shandy in my hand. You see the problem now. All of my friends have keyboards, all of them worthy of recognition, but not mine. If you'd like to sponsor the Crispy Dan, all you need to do is text, no David, you're huge. <laughs> Seriously though, those keyboards look pretty cool. See, I was exaggerating, mostly. I don't actually have any friends. For just a dollar a month, you can sponsor a Crispy Daniel today. Please hurry, for time is running out. Just as I had given up all hope. Welcome, my dear girl. I am Mr. Burke, a representative of Tenpenny Tower. That's... no, I'm not actually Mr. Burke. That was a prank. Uh, I, sh I deserve your better keyboard because, first of all, I'm charming, handsome, and attractive. And secondly, have you seen this thing? Like, it's... it's fucked, man. Like, I've had it for years. Like, it's older than most of my siblings, and... I suppose it is good for one thing. Like, if a burglar came in, I could just... Whack him over the head. It's pretty sturdy. Uh, I think it's made out of that stuff that Iron Man's suit is made out of. But, um, not as flashy, obviously. Not like those special ones that you've got, which, uh, should totally belong to me because, uh, you know, I'm the Eternal Vanguard and you'd be making such a huge, um, you'd be giving back to the community. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, um, like what GameStar does, but actually, you'd, you'd actually be helping people out, you know what I mean? So, I think you should give it to me. Uh, and if you do, I'll put this eye patch on for like three videos. Uh, just, 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 just an eye patch. Just, and you can choose which eye I put it on as well, like, because I'm just that kind of nice guy. I love my keyboard. I bought it with my mouse for around £10. The best thing about my keyboard is that it is the first gaming keyboard I ever had, and it has LEDs. I had it for one year, and since then I had a lot of adventures in various games, but recently my spasabar is not functioning properly, so I'm struggling sometimes to press it as it tends to get stuck in a downward position. Good luck to everyone entering, and I hope that whoever wins enjoys their keyboard oh and thanks Barry for the giveaway lad. This ever happened to you? Ah oh, man, I died again on the servers. Oh no, this controller is just not accurate as a comported mouse. Oh no, I died on the Mario Kart again. <laughs> well, not anymore with Barry's keyboard. You see, many children don't grow up without a father or a keyboard, and I feel those are related. Get a keyboard for somebody, me, and their dad'll come back. Yay, dad! I have been a subscriber for probably a year now. And you liked some of my comments, you replied to some of my comments, and on Twitter, you've liked some of my tweets. I'm Carson Diaz on Twitter, and I am, should I get it, on um, YouTube. So... Alright, so free keyboards giveaway. Look at this. Look what I have. Does this look good to you, Barry? Do you like to see this? Look at this. It's fucking filthy. Look at my monitor. Look at it. It's fucking horrible. Look at my dog. Look at it. It's adorable. Three. Um, here's my AC with racer stickers. So, um, 
Shit, why is my skin so yellow? Okay. Anyways, um, I want to um, enter for your keyboard giveaway, even though I have a K95 and it's amazing and it's Cherry MX Browns and this needs to be washed, but that's all good. But uh, I wanted to enter because uh, these poor people should not be able to get keyboards. To be honest, I'd rather take your cat because mine is a bit freaking weird. Okay. So, this is my keyboard. It is... I don't actually know the brand, but it's not mechanical, it's membrane, and it tries to act mechanical. You can see it's got switches that sort of look mechanical, but when you push it, it's a... Uh... Ooh, that's good! But yeah, obviously it's not ideal. Uh, one of the things that really annoys me about this keyboard is, if you take a look at the back, it is reminiscent of those computers that you see at high school, where you have one flap and one that's been fucking stolen. This actually happened at a LAN party because my friend bought his keyboard around and for some reason he was missing one of his. So we thought, fuck it, I'm just gonna take my friend's one and not give it back. So, that little shit still has it. That's fun. There's also just the thing that, you know, I've never had a mechanical keyboard before because they are pretty fucking expensive. It'd be nice to try one, see what it's like. Uh, but I've been using Membrane all my life so I don't really know what to expect. Uh, this is my keyboard. I want a new one, because the backspace button is too small. Hey, Barry and friends. This is my, uh, key keyboard. Uh, it's an Ovation Launchpad Pro. It has, uh, 64 keys, but I think something's wrong with it. Whenever I click a button, all that seems to happen is it plays music with lights. I mean, it has RGB, but I can really use a new keyboard. Uh, I'll I'll show you why. Hello, my family, and welcome to my why I want a new keyboard video. So this is my regular keyboard. It has very nice look. And it is very tactile. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I do have to apologize for making you sit through some of those, but let's move on to the runner-ups. There were a few videos that I really wanted to choose, but I only had three keyboards to give away. But when it comes down to it, these people did an amazing job and definitely deserve a spotlight in second place. So without further ado, here are the runner-ups. Don't you hate it when this happens? Oh my god, dude, my keyboard! What? Why did you have your- Heck you! Or when this happens. I forgot I put that there. Hi, I need a better keyboard. Often during my daily life, I encounter many issues regarding my terrible memory keyboard. I'm very clumsy so my keyboards don't last long. Even the professionals can't fix my mistakes. This is why I need a stronger and more durable key. In all seriousness though, this is my friend's keyboard, it's not mine. Hi, I have money. I'm looking for a better keyboard because I've actually been saving up for a new gaming PC and uh, I've always been the guy with the worst PC. Sob story, I know. And having this keyboard now would actually help me a lot with money. This thing is around a kilogram and it goes around 50 to 60 kilometers per hour. That's a lot of Newtons on this keyboard. Well, no. Uh, it's broken clean in half right now, but the, this thing is holding it together. We're just gonna smash it some more. I'm not actually that clumsy, I just have little brothers. watching you for about a year now. That sounded overly creepy. But in all seriousness, I really enjoy your content. Um, I'm saying this, so you'll give me a keyboard. I saw your competition, and I decided to enter it, and this is that very video. Now, why I think I deserve the keyboard is because I'm amazing. 
But also, because the keyboard I've got now is um, my dad's old keyboard from his 2009 Dell Inspiron computer. Now, that computer's almost as old as I am, so as you can tell, it's probably not the best to be gaming on. Um, so, I, because of this, I thought, why not just throw my hat in the ring? So, without further ado... Right, now that that's done, I was thinking of ways that might give me an advantage over the competition. Uh, I was thinking, what could I do? I could run around the city uh, with a sign that says subscribe to Barry, but unfortunately, I'm on holiday right now, and I'm not in a city that speaks English. Partly, that's also the reason why I'm using this as the microphone. Um, because I have nothing better to use. Anyway, as I said, I was trying to think of something to do to be above the competition, to put me higher than the rest, and I thought, what better thing to do than to rap? Now, obviously, I'm not a rapper, never have rapped in the past, but I thought I'd give it a go. So this is the outcome of that. There you go, this is going to be the rap. First take, first time I've ever rapped in my life, so... <laughs> it's going to be embarrassing for me, but... I might get a keyboard out of it, that would be nice. Hey, I'm Kiwi. Can't even see me. Rap, so normally they should call it a Mimi. Saw so, your yeah, contest and this is my entry, and if I win, I'll freak out. Really, I need to win so I can dump my old keyboard. Its keys are sticky in my ranks and free for. Say me, Barry, please give me that keyboard and I'll be happier than a kid at the seaboard. Heard your quotes. Peasants and all, seen series come and series fall. See your channel get big and grow, so please sing me that keyboard, bro. Cause, hey, I'm Kiwi. Can't even see me. Rap, so normally they should call it a Mimi. Saw so, your yeah, contest and this is my entry, and if I win, I'll freak out. Really. Hey, I'm Kiwi. Can't even see me. Rap so annoying they should call it a Mimi. And if I win, oh, that'd be great. Please just grant me this one wish. I mean, I have two Intel chips. This is the most I've ever tried for a contest. I'll just usually hide. I'm scared to break my stride, but the prize is cool and I want to die. This rap is really cringe and I'm gonna go now. Bye bye. Oh, okay. Let's do this one more time. <laughs> oh! Ah, uh, uh, amazing. That was, that was beautiful. But in all seriousness, best of luck to everyone entering the competition. I'm sure you all deserve the keyboard much more than I do, but, um, you know, Barry, if you want to give it to me, I'm not going to be sitting here, sitting here complaining, but, um, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give me a keyboard. And I'll uh, see you guys later. Bye. I need to win so I can dump my old keyboard. Its keys are sticking in my ranks and free for. Please me, Barry. Please me, Barry. What the fuck? <laughs> no. No. Now I know what you're thinking. Barry, how can you top that? And honestly, I thought the same thing. Until I saw these videos. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of First Player's Fire Dancing Keyboard. Time to write my essay. Wait, it is I, the god of keyboards. Yes, that's right. Before you smash your keyboard to bits, let me tell you that I can fix it at no charge. Yes, that's right. Just hand it here. Oh, you babbling buffoon, look at what you've done. I can't fix it now, it's garbage, it's gone forever.
All right, time to finish that essay. Wait, stop. I managed to salvage your keyboard from the garbage. Here you go. It's still broken. Ha! You actually thought I was going to fix it. Stupid idiot. Have fun with your broken keyboard. I chose Tate because of the effort. The tone of the video was so pleasant and humble, so thank you, man. Congratulations on winning, and I hope you enjoy your new keyboard. Our second winner got the keyboard that everyone wanted, the X-Falcon typewriter-style keyboard. Let's take a look at his video. Um, hello. This is my key- Psych! You thought this was gonna be one of those unoriginal keyboard showcase videos, didn't you? Well, think again. Today, I'm gonna show you how to turn your boring, standard keyboard into an epic, high-quality gaming one. Firstly, you'll want to take your old keyboard and throw it out. No one wants to see that crusty shit. Next, you'll need a new board. Here's mine. You'll want to get the best materials you can get your hands on. Mine's made out of only the most prestigious of oak wood taken from the alpine forests of Everest. Next, you'll need some keys. Here's some I found around the place. I'm sure nobody's using them. You take the keys, and very carefully, slowly, and gently, you sellotape them to the board. The more sellotape you use, the less input lag your keyboard will have, so make sure you layer it on there. Next, take a VGA cable. Use a sharp pair of scissors to cut off the old connector. Flip your new keyboard and place the cable exactly 2156 of the way in. Next, take your soldering kit and solder that shit to the board. Yep, okay, we'll turn this off. Okay, okay, turn it off. If it looks like this, then you did it correctly. Please understand that if you wish to use your new keyboard's RGB capabilities, you'll be required to use an Ethernet cable instead. And there you have it. Your brand new, stunning quality keyboard made and designed only for the most vigorous of gaming activities. Of course, your new keyboard comes with all the latest features required to pwn noobs online. Such as... N key rollover. One millisecond response time. Cherry MX red switches. And of course, a built-in copy of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. So what are you waiting for? Build your brand new keyboard today. John Holt did a fantastic job on this video. The quality was through the roof, and most importantly, you looked like you had a blast while making it. So congrats, man. Great video. This last video is one of my personal favorites. There was no way I couldn't pick this guy. So without further ado, our final winner. Whoa, hey guys, I didn't see you there. Uh, I'm gonna show you my setup. So come on, watch your step. Let's go in. Hey, so th uh, this is my setup right here. Uh, I got a lot of stuff. I got my um, I got my gaming chair right there. It's pretty pretty good. It's just a stack of boxes, but don't tell that to anyone. I got my uh, crackers over there. I got my water bottles, buckets of paint, and I got a whole bunch of stuff in my setup. This is my desk. This desk is height adjustable. As you can see here, you could just slide that under there, and it's a millimeter up off the ground. It's height adjustable. It's a great desk. This right here, this right here is my computer. This is my computer. I'm rocking a... Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm rocking. I just like saying that word. So yeah, that's pretty good. I got some games right here. These are my collection of games. I got Rayman Raving Rabbids 2. For the PC, it is a, such a good game. I also have new Super Mario Bros. for the DS. Unfortunately, I can't play that because I don't have a DS. Thirdly, I have the Sims 3 Generations Expansion Pack. Although I don't have the base game, so this is kind of useless to me. I can't use that. 
Uh, what else do I have here? Um, I got a lot of board games. Uh, but anyway, besides my setup, I'm guessing you don't want to hear about that. I'm guessing you want to hear about this Razer Black Widow Chroma V2 keyboard. This is the keyboard. That's mine. It's great, but I don't need it anymore. I've had this for a couple months now until the W key broke. I can move around, but uh, it's kind of really hard to not get killed without the W key. Space bar stopped working as well, which is not very ideal for anything. It makes it a nightmare to do my essays on, so... <laughs> In game, I could switch uh, WASD for something else, but that wouldn't make a valid point for this video now, would it? So, I'm just gonna go with that excuse. There are also a few things that happen to this keyboard that cause some of its performance. Sometimes when I'm playing an important match or something, my anger gets the best of me and I end up doing things I regret later on. I'm also a very clumsy person and forget where my keyboard is. It's also not waterproof, which is a bit of a problem. In the end, I need a new keyboard and I have had this one for way too long and it's time to get a new one. I hope you consider my entry in the end and I'd like to thank you for giving us this opportunity. Tiki Poo captured the essence of MTV Cribs for his video. He had a blast, he showed immense effort, and most importantly, displayed a need for the keyboard without begging at all. I gave him the MotoSpeed tournament style keyboard as it would probably complement his small space pretty well. Now Barry, you might say, wasn't there a fourth keyboard? That's right, my General Electric keyboard. Now who on earth did that go to? I cannot tell you how many people sent in videos displaying a really nice keyboard already, from Razer Black Widows to Corsair K70s, so I just sent the keyboard to one of them. Thank you to everyone who participated sincerely and want to get more free stuff, I'll let you know.